Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and today I'm going to be giving a drag racing car crippling fear of speed. We've given a car social anxiety, we've given a plane a fear of heights, we've given a boat a fear of deep water, now it is time for a race car that is afraid of speed. I have a couple of ideas of how I'm gonna do this to make it slightly different than previous versions when it comes to the fear factors, but as usual, we have to start somewhere, and that is with the actual car itself. So I'm gonna build a drag racing car without any fear of speed first, and then we're gonna slowly introduce some fear factor as it gains more and more speed. Hopefully I can actually make something that goes decently fast in the first place, because it would be kind of sad if I tried to build a drag racing car that's afraid of speed that can't even go fast. Which I guess would actually, that'd make the most sense, wouldn't it? But anyway, we gotta get building here, so wish me luck and I'll see you on the other side of the drag race. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've built the drag racer, I hope, <laughs> at least I, I hope this thing is going to work as intended, but uh, it's completely untested so far. So I have it set up so the wheels will fall off once I program them, but I have other things that I want to put in here besides wheels just falling off. But first things first, let's see how it does as an actual drag racer. Here we go in three, two, one, go! Okay, so this is without thrust so far. I wanted to see how just the engine power is, and it's not too bad. We're reaching 230? 235 we can pretty much go up to if we had more space. So now let's see how it does with thrust. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. This thing's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. 318 I think I saw. Oh, oof. All right, what if I actually want to like drive this thing around like an actual car? How much control ability does this thing have? Oh boy. Oh, this is a weird build. Oh yeah, here we go. This is not going to be good. <laughs> actually, this is doing way better than I thought it was going to already. Oh, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> oh, drag racing cars are fun. All right. Yeah, look at this. We get a drip dragster. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh no, stop. Ooh. Oh, I have to, sorry. I know I'm getting a little bit distracted right now, but I think this is stuff that needs, it's required. I have to feed this thing into the grinder to see what happens. All right, and, ooh, it's perfect. I want to see that again. 
Nice and slow. Oh, okay. So much for slow. Okay, so I think we're pretty successful with building just the basic drag racing car. Now, I did load this thing up with engines. We got eight engines in the back, and then the whole length of the nose is pretty much engines underneath. And then, of course, we have the thrusters in the back, and I'm hoping that the thrusters are going to help us with uh, some of my plans, which you'll see very, very soon. Oh, and actually, there's something I want to add here. I was looking at some pictures, and I noticed that some drag racers actually have aerodynamic pieces in front of their wheels like this. I mean, they're not really colliding with the wheels like this, but I think that doesn't look too bad. So I wanted to do that for this as well. Let's see if we can actually increase our top speed. That looks- oh, that, that looks really good. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know if that actually helps us at all, but let's see what happens. I saw, like, what- I don't even remember what the speed was. 300 and- 60, 300, I don't know. Well, we got past 330 that time. I think that was better than before, so maybe an improvement? I don't know. Um, what, what, what's hap- what, what's going on here? Why is this a thing now? What? What is go- what happened? Did, okay, I moved a couple of pieces- All I did was move some shield pieces around just to- uh, I don't understand what's going on right now. <laughs> now we have a low rider version of a drag racer unintentionally. I don't know what happened. All I did was move some shield pieces around. I moved this back by one block and then shifted a couple of shield pieces. Okay, so now I'm going to change it so that these pieces are sideways. Is that gonna be fine? All right, we're fine now. We fixed it. Problem solved. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the adjustable speed sensor that can be connected to other blocks, and this is going to be what engages our fear factor. So we need to actually make some space for these. All right, so I've just installed stay- Oh no, is it doing this thing again? Why is it doing this thing again? Please, please don't do that thing again. <laughs> when I put shield pieces there, it starts bouncing like a low rider, so we're gonna have to not do that anymore. Okay, so now I think I have this set up. So when I go 150 kilometers an hour, stage one of the fear should initiate and it's going to attempt to slow itself down by opening up some tail fins. So let's see if it works. When we get to 150. Uh, oh, wow, it actually is work. Oh, holy cow. All right, come on, get through it, get through it. All right, they're too effective. These are actually too effective. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to use the not-so-effective tail wing. I didn't think these things would be that effective. It actually keeps us at 150. I don't want you to be that good at mitigating your fear, okay? I'm sorry, Dragster, but we, we need to be able to reach other levels. I have plans for you. Okay, so now let's see if we can push past 150. Oh, no. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I, I removed the shield pieces. All right, well, do I need to put them back now? What What do you want from me, Dragster? Is that part of the fear thing? Is that like your initial fear? Okay, we're fine right now. Let's see what happens. Can we get past 150? All right, and 150, it's keeping us below. If we hit the thrust, yep, we can barely go up. Okay, okay, all right. This is working the way I want it to. So these wings are surprisingly effective. They, they top us out at 160 now, even with the thrust, where we were up to like 300 and something without them. So now, if we can get, if we can push past and up to 160, I'm going to have these wings. Oh no, I forgot to enable it. I got this, don't worry. So my plan is I want these wings to fall off once we reach a certain speed. So it's kind of like the wings are trying really, really hard. He's afraid, he's trying to slow himself down. And then once we keep trying to go faster and faster, he just can't do it anymore and the wings fall off. And then we can reach our next speed goal. This is gonna be like a fight. We're gonna be fighting with this car. All right, so once we reach 160, I just put some detaching blocks right here on the wings, so they should detach the wings. Man, we need so much more of a straightaway if we're gonna get through all these stages, though. I don't know what we're gonna do. This is gonna be really, really tough. All right, well, here goes nothing. All right, one, oh, I, all right, I made a mistake. Don't, don't start off with the thrust. Use the thrust afterwards, otherwise it just happens instantly. All right, let's do no thrust first. We're gonna reach 150. It's slowing itself down before it gets to 160. All right, come on, push through it, push through it, push through it. And then they fall off and we keep going. All right, this is going good. So now, what should the next stage be? After 160, I think once we get to 200, something should happen. Maybe 220, I'm gonna go with 220 
You know, why don't we have some more just normal pieces fly off? So I'm going to try to make it so that these, the spoiler is set to fly off. So I don't know how devastating this is going to be, but at 220, not only is the spoiler going to fall off, but one of the front wheels, I'm also going to trigger to fall off. And we're going to see how that affects our speed and our even our controllability. Are we going to be able to stay straight? And 150, 160... 220. Oh, there we go. And then at 280, I think we're going to have the other front wheel fall off and see if we can keep increasing speed despite that. Oh, this is getting good. All right. So 280 for this one. This is going to trigger the left front wheel to fall off. All right. I'm just going to power through the first couple. All right. There we go. Wings are gone. There we go. And then 280. And ooh, we don't pick up speed anymore after that. Hmm. Okay. So that's not going to work because we need to be able to keep reaching to whatever our max speed is going to be. So what if instead of the front wheel, what if we take our opposite back wheel? So at 280, our opposite back wheel is going to fall off. That might actually like lighten the load a little bit so we can keep going. So let's see what happens. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes, and we still reached 300. Okay, all right, this is good. This is, we are totally falling apart. This is amazing. Oh yeah, then we have 280, and then this is the last one we have up here. We could make this like 305. I saw us reach 305, maybe 310. I don't know, let's go with 305. And then this is going to make our final wheels fall off. So the left wheel over there, the right wheel back here, and then I'm gonna have a surprise I'm gonna have a surprise later. You probably you probably know what it is, but uh, I don't want to program it in just yet. All right, let's see if we can do this. Okay, 150 and 160, 220, 280. Oh, 305. <laughs> we have nothing left. Oh, it is fantastic. I wish we didn't have this. Oh wait, you know what? Let's actually go down to the end. I'm going to go down to the end and turn around, and this is going to keep us below 160. I love that the wings, they keep us above 150 now, but below 160, which is when they fall off. So this keeps us at like a steady speed, which is perfect for the fear of speed. All right, so now if I start from here, I should hopefully be able to keep going a little bit after rather than just going into the water. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, no, I have no, I have no traction. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, 150, push it, push it, push it, 160, 220, oh, 280, oh no, 300, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oof. <laughs> okay, so now at 305 mark, I'm gonna have all the wheels fall off like I already do, but then I'm gonna have something set on a delay, so then it's kind of like the final, we're done, we're not gonna go anymore. All right, here we go. I'm starting over here because I'm going to try to go all the way down. So we just have a much farther way to go. So let's see what happens. All right, we're at 150. The wings are out. And I'm like, you know what? You know what, drag car? I don't care if you're scared. I want to go faster. We're activating the thrust. All right. And then the wings fall off. The wheels fall off. Those wheels fall off. And now I'm just trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. And it didn't work. Why didn't it work? It should have worked. What's going on? All right, the programming of this is actually a little bit different than I thought it was. So it didn't work that time. I'm hoping I figured it out so I can get it to actually work this time. Let's see if we can do this. All right, here we go. Front wheel is off. Back wheel is off. Other wheels are off and... Okay, all right, it's not working. So the problem is for the last thing that I want to do, I'm putting it on a delay after that last trigger happens, but it seems like in order in order for that delay to go all the way through to the final stage, the trigger has to remain active during the entire delay. And once all of my wheels fall off, I don't stay over that top speed to trigger the final thing. All right, I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try to go over to the drag racing um, map. I just don't know if the drag race strip itself is long enough, to be honest. Okay, I think I finally figured it out. I had to set it to toggle. I think it might work now. We just gotta hit that 305 mark. There we go. And there we go. All right. And I'm so happy that pretty much just the cockpit is all that's left. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do something fancy here. I didn't like how even though the cockpit was left, we still had the aerodynamic blocks that are supposed to be for these wheels. So I want those to fall off with the wheels. So I'm gonna have to do some fancy routing here to make sure that these are also only attached to the detachable blocks. 
I think I have it. So the entire wheel part should fall off, including the aerodynamic parts in front. All right, there we go. We're going to run 50. We go ahead, get to 160. And the front wheel falls off, and the back wheel falls off, and then both wheels fall off, and we're just the thing, and then... And then it explodes. But the race thing interrupted us. All right, here we go. Now we're not going to have the pesky race thing stopping us. All right, go. Why are we bouncing? I don't like the bouncing. All right, there we go. There we go. He's afraid. He's falling apart. He's falling. Oh, oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> right into the tree. Oh, I love it when stuff like that happens. All right, let's see if we can keep our control this time. There we go. There we go. There we go. And... And... What? What? Why doesn't it work all of a sudden? So in case you guys didn't figure out already what I'm trying to do at the end here, I put a cannon up in the front here that's facing back this way. So the goal was to pretty much destroy the entire nose of the vehicle and keep the cockpit going. Or not going, but keep the cockpit intact. But I wanted it to happen after the final trigger because once we hit 305, all of our wheels fall off and then there's no way for us to maintain uh, an acceleration in speed. So I figured once this reaches 305, I would have it trigger the cannon, but the cannon would then be on a three second delay. So the wheels fall off at 305, and then as it slows down, it's kind of reaches maximum fear anyway, and then it just kind of like builds up and explodes. But the problem I'm having is that sometimes it doesn't trigger. So I'm gonna see if we can get this to work again. Okay, come on, come on. Please work, please work, please work. Here we go, 305. And there we go. Oh, our seat didn't survive that time. The whole thing just, the whole thing just exploded. Okay. All right, so that time it worked. I don't know what I did differently, but I did not want the entire seat to explode that time. So this time I changed it to face forward instead of backwards. And hopefully this is going to be better. Please stop bouncing. Okay, there we go. 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 And... Okay, the whole thing explodes. All right, well, it's not 100% as I planned on it working, but it works. It's got five different stages. We have a drag racer that is actually afraid of speed and just starts falling apart the faster you go until eventually it can't take no more and it, uh, it doesn't explode this time. I don't, it's the same thing. It's the, all the programming is exactly the same. I don't know what's happening. So let me know, what did you guys think of the drag racer that has a crippling, very, very crippling fear of speed? So crippling, in fact, that it doesn't even be afraid right sometimes. Oh, there we go. We got it right that time. Uh, let me know if you have any other vehicle type fear things you'd like to see happen in this series. I really don't know what's left. I mean, I guess a submarine we haven't done yet, but we've already done Fear of Deep Waters. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have, have any unique ideas. If you missed the previous Scarity Vehicles episodes, then go ahead and check this out right here on the end screen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.